we're going to make tuna melts. Um, what you're going to need is one can of tuna. You're going to need two tablespoons of mayonnaise, a teaspoon of mustard, and you can pick whichever kind you like of mustard, um, about a quarter cup of cheese, and about two tablespoons of olives diced up. Then I've got some pepper just for um, flavor, and then also in just a minute when we actually go over to the stove, you're going to need about two tablespoons of butter and four pieces of bread. Okay, so all you're going to do is make sure that you've drained the water from your tuna. You're going to add your mayonnaise and your mustard. And you're just going to mix those in together. And then you're just going to mix in your olives. and your cheese. And just gently mix that all together. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. And if you don't like green olives, you can do some other alternatives like a green pepper or just add a little onion or you can actually add pickles if you really like. So in just a second we'll put it all together. Okay, so now that everything is prepped, what I've done is I've softened my butter and I've got my pan on just below medium. And you're going to want to butter one side of your bread and then the side that's buttered is going to go down. And then you're just going to take about half of your mixture and you're going to spread it out. Then all you're going to do is you're going to take your second piece of bread and then this time the butter is going to be on top so it'll be facing up. And then you're just going to cover it and you're going to let it get to a golden brown so you're going to kind of cook it like a grilled cheese. So we'll do it a few minutes on one side, we'll flip it over and then we'll get the other side golden brown. Alright, so it's about ready. As you can see, the one side is golden brown, and then there's the other side. And then if you want, you can just cut it in half. And then it's ready, so hope you enjoy!